Good morning guys and welcome back. So today is the first day of my Christmas holidays and we've got tropical storm. So what better way to celebrate the start of Christmas holidays and tropical storm and tropical storms than going off road. So if you guys recognize this before, it's like a little telephone track just off the um, Kwana Boulevard here on the Sunshine Coast. And normally I'd be able to get through all this in two wheel drive, no problem. And it's just like a little bit of fun to uh, test out new gear, come film for you guys and stuff like this. But we've had so much rain the last couple of days. I think we've getting like 30 mils today. Um, and it's just been pelting down. We've got thunder, lightning. Um, it's just massive storms. Because it's so hot, we just get these intense tropical storms. Um, yesterday when we went for a drive, uh, we had to actually turn around and go home because we couldn't see um, five feet in front of us. Like, it was insane. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to, to get off-road, have a little bit of fun to kick off the Christmas holidays instead of just sitting at home and watching Netflix. So we started off just back here um, on this little ridge here. <sighs> well, before we get started, let me know in the comments, guys, what you guys are doing for your Christmas break. Everybody's doing something different. If you guys are starting off wheeling, fantastic. So we just got this little ridge here, like it's nothing insane, but whoo! It's gonna be muddy. It's gonna be muddy, boys. Um, so why not? Why not head off road, see what we've got, see how flooded the tracks are. Just down a little bit further, like it's so corrosive at the moment. Um, it's so slippery, um, as you can see from the bottom of the Jeep. Woo hoo! -hoo. It's muddy. Um, now I'm not a big mud fan, I don't like heaps of mud just because it's a pain in the ass to clean. Uh, but next week we'll have a video on how to properly clean the mud off your Jeep. And it's sort of one of the reasons I came out as well, I want to do a video on how to properly clean the mud off your Jeep. Because a lot of people don't do it right and they complain about mud stains and stuff like that. But we've got this whole track down here um, that we're going to go through. I don't know how far we're going to get because even weeks and weeks after the rain, um, a lot of these are, are impassable. They're just too deep. Um, if you get like a real dry couple months, um, they do dry and you can actually see how deep they actually are. Um, because we are just running sort of factory sized tires um, and I think it's like a one or two inch lift, maybe. Um, they're really just, it's not set up for that sort of stuff. But we do have the shovel and the exit tracks um, on the roof just in case we do get stuck because we are out here by ourselves. But it's sort of clear-ish at the moment. It's not pissing down with rain. Um, but hopefully, you can see in the distance there that it's starting, the rain's starting to come in um, and we'll see how far we can get. But I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride, have a little bit of fun to start off the Christmas break. So sit back, relax, if you haven't already, smash that like button and smash that subscribe button as well. So you can help us out and create better vid videos for you guys as well. So let's see how far we get and see how muddy it actually is. I don't think you're doing it right. You're in the middle of the roundabout there. What the fuck? Don't think that's how you get you get it done. Must have slid around the roundabout and gone through the bush. 
Mm. Should we go help him? Should we laugh? Everybody's driving past! Oh, poor guy. Oh. See, if you want to go off-road, mate, you don't do it in the centre of a roundabout. There's a track just here. So... Poor bugger. So that's pretty much it for today guys, fun little trip, um, a few of those obstacles there I used to do in two wheel drive as I said earlier in the video, um, and it's just slippery as hell, um, as you can see by the tyres, they are caked in mud, woohoo, the Jeep's not too bad, uh, a few little sprinkles and stuff like that, um, ground clearance was a little bit of an issue in um, some parts, I was knocking the bottom of the Jeep um, around a bit. Um, as you guys saw, I had some good GoPro angles sitting there. What I did was just that little tow hook there I've got at the front. I actually shoved the uh, water flotation handle thingy into there and it worked fine. Managed to get up that hill. Uh, it's just a good fun day out. Um, the actual weather kind of turned. As you can see over there, it's still raining over there and it just didn't eventuate over here. Um, but fun little day out. Let me know in the comments what you guys are doing for your Christmas holiday, whether you're staying around, what kind of Christmas you guys are doing, um, whether it's going to be good weather, uh, shit weather, blue sky, snowing, whatever it might be, let me know in the comments below. But that was a little bit of fun. I'm, I'm really enjoyed coming out here. Um, I thought it was going to be a lot worse than it actually was considering how much rain we actually had. It was definitely a lot slipperier. Um, it does dry out pretty fast, but those couple deep ruts um, the stuff you guys saw, um, they they just fill up with water um, and stay filled with water for months on end. So I've got some Christmas shopping to do, but that's pretty much it for today, guys. Um, we're going to go home after the Christmas shopping. We're going to go home um, and we're going to do a video on how to properly clean mud. Well, the Jeep flank's not that dirty. Most of the tyres, most of that will probably come off on the way home. That's off fly. Damn flies in Australia. Uh, most of that will probably come off on the way home um, in the puddles and stuff like that. And these roundabouts around here get get woo, get pretty slippery um, in the wet. Um, as you guys saw, that Navarra went off road. Um, I was going to get out and help him. There was no way to get down there from where I was, so I was going to go around. And as I went around, someone else, I think it was like a patrol or something, uh, stopped off to give him a bit of a tug out. But poor, I don't know what he was trying to do. Probably trying to slide around the roundabout and went off into the bush. Poor bucket. Off road just here. No off road in middle of roundabout. Damn Navarro owners. But that's it for today guys. If you liked this video, smash that like button. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Hopefully we'll have more stuff like this um, over the Christmas break. Um, we've got some other videos for you guys as well. But if I don't see you guys before Christmas, hope you guys have an awesome Christmas. Stay safe, um, drive carefully and all that sort of stuff. Hope you guys have an awesome Christmas um, and a happy new year. And a happy new year as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.